Your KETK Sports Zone, brought to you by Peters Auto Sports Tyler. The Gladewater Bears are gearing up for the 2020 season, looking to rebuild after losing key guys to graduation. Head coach Johnny LeVere believes his guys are up for this challenge. Uh, it's real, feel real good knowing coming for two days and the heat just get better as a team. The Gladewater Bears are heading into the new year excited about the possibilities. Head coach Johnny LeVere says he's focusing on getting his team in shape because some guys will have to play both ways this season. Football is a game of, you know, the play lasts about three to five seconds, and then you get 30 seconds of rest, and then you got to do it again. So in practice, it, it, simulate that as much as possible, and then for the kid, it's just show up every day and then do the best you can every single time you're out there. We're just coming out here working in this heat. That's really the best thing you could do, you know, just come out here and work, feel me, as much as you can, and try to prepare, you know. Bears will now have Kyron Wilson under center after DJ Allen graduated. Wilson says the coaching staff is helping his transition go smoothly. He's just watching my small mistakes and uh, helping me fix it. After practice, he's meeting with me, telling me the things I need to work on, and uh, we're just working on it slowly, but yes, sir, it's getting fixed. Coach Livier adds he loved the dedication from his guys this offseason with the work they put in, ready to carry on that bear pride. I don't think they missed a single workout this summer. Um, they're up here all the time. Hey, coach, let me in. You know, so uh, they're hungry for it, and they want to, you know, prove people that, you know, we are Gladewater and we're still going to be good, and, and they, they're taking pride in that. Uh, we've been working out before the season, all day, every day, just putting that work. So I feel like it'll be great. We'll do real good. Coach LeVere and this year's Bears are searching for their team's identity early this season while trying to make a run this year. We want to play really good defense, and then when we have the ball, we want to control it and uh, you know be able to run the ball really good and still throw it when we have to. The faster we come together as a team, uh, the better we're going to be. So uh, we got to get to a point where we play hard for the guy next to us, not just ourselves. The Bears open the season against the Dangerfield Tigers on August 26th at 7 p.m.